Virtual machines, firewalls, and load balancers are easy to make on Microsoft Azure. But the only problem is that if you are making multiple virtual devices, then it will cost you a lot of money. By the end of this tutorial, you will figure out how you can build a Hyper-V nested virtual machine with multiple public IP addresses with the price of only one virtual machine. You can also install firewall, learn port forwarding, and other interesting features that we will cover in this tutorial. So let's get started. First, go to the website portal.azure.com and log into your Azure account. After that, click on create a resource. Now select and search Windows Server 2019 Data Center. Now you click on that and it should lead you to this page. Now press on create and you should be here. Select your Azure subscription that you want to use to pay for this virtual machine. After you are done that, you will see that under the subscription, it will say resource group. Click create new and name your resource group. I recommend that you use the name that you are going to use for the virtual machine as it will be easy to maintain your resources. After you are done naming your resource group, click OK. Now, name your virtual machine and select your region. For the image, select Windows Server 2019 Data Center. Now, for the size, select Clear All Filters Then click on D16S underscore V3. If you want to go for a cheaper way, then go ahead, but I just recommend this as it can run even more virtual machines. After that, create your username and password. Now, for the public inbound ports, select Allow Selected Ports, and after that, select RDP. Down here, it asks you if you already have a Windows license. Of course, you click on Yes, because you can save up a lot of money that way. After that, check the box and the section is now finished. Head over to the this section by clicking on the next button here or by selecting it on the top of the page. For the OS disk type, select premium SSD. After that, click on create and attach a new disk. Over here, it should bring you to this page. Now, configure the page and make sure it is similar to the following. After you are done, go up here and click networking. You should see this. Now, select your VNet. If you don't have one, you can keep it as the default settings. Same with the subnet. If you have one, select it. But if you don't, you can keep the default settings. Now, in the public IP section, click on Create New. Type in the name of your new public IP address. Now, for the SKU, click on Basic. And for the assignment, click on Static. Now, click on OK. Now do the following. For the network security group, click on basic and for the public inbound ports, click allow selected ports and pick RDP. After that, turn accelerating network on and all right, the section is now done as well. For management, guest config and tags, you can keep all those on default. Now click on review plus create and make sure you have the correct settings and click create. Now that's it for part one of the tutorial. Now wait for the virtual machine to finish its deployment and you are done. Please click the subscribe button and press the notification bell to get notified when part two comes up. Anyways, I'll be seeing you all in the next one.